This is indirect objects for 7th grade English. An indirect object is a noun, pronoun, or word group that sometimes appears in sentences containing direct objects. Indirect objects tell to whom or to what, for whom or for what, the action of the verb is done. If a sentence has an indirect object, it always has a direct object also. So here's our sentence. The waiter gave her the bill. First we'll identify the verb. Gave is the verb. Then we say, what did the waiter actually give? The bill, and that is our direct object. Then we say, to whom or for whom did the waiter give that bill? And it's her. So her is our indirect object. Notice a few things. It's going to be in the middle between the verb and the direct object. Also, it's a person, and it will never be in a prepositional phrase. Our next sentence. Pam left the waiter a tip. First, we identify the verb, left. What did she leave? The tip. That's our direct object. To whom or for whom did she leave the tip? The waiter. So that is the indirect object. Again, notice that it comes between the verb and the direct object. Also, it's a person, a waiter. And also, it is not in a prepositional phrase. Did she tip him $5? Our verb here is did tip. What's the thing that she tipped? The dollars. So that's our direct object. But to whom or for whom did she tip? She tipped him. And that's the indirect object. Again, him is a person. It's a pronoun. It's between the verb and the do. And it's not in a prepositional phrase. Here are some examples of sentences that have prepositional phrases but do not have indirect objects. The ship's captain gave orders to the crew. The verb is gave. What's the actual thing the, ga the captain gave? Orders. To whom or for whom did he give the orders? He gave it to the crew, but notice this is a prepositional phrase, so it cannot be the indirect object. The next one. Vinny made some lasagna for us. The verb here is made. What did he make? Lasagna. To whom or for whom did he make the lasagna? For us. But again, it's in a prepositional phrase, so it is not the indirect object. Here are the same sentences rewritten to have direct objects and indirect objects. The ship's captain gave orders to the crew. Vinny made lasagna for us. So all you do is take what's in the prepositional phrase and move it before the DO and you become an IO. And the last example is that like a direct object, an indirect object can be a compound of two or more objects. So Felicia threw David, Jane, and Paula slow curveballs. The verb is threw. What did she throw? She threw curveballs. That's my direct object. To whom did she throw those? David, Jane, and Paula. All three of those are indirect objects. So steps to finding the DO and the IO. First, find the verb. Make sure it's an action verb. You cannot have a DO and IO behind a linking verb. Step two, find the noun or pronoun that receives the action of the verb. That's called the direct object, and that will never be in a prepositional phrase. Then you find to whom or for whom the action is done. That is called the indirect object. And that is going to be in the middle between the verb and the direct object. Also, usually it's a person. And it is not in a prepositional phrase. So here's some examples. The teacher gave us the test. Find the verb, gave, what did she give, the test, to whom did she give it, us. So this sentence has both an IO and a DO. Number two, your brother threw the football to me. The verb is threw, what did he throw, the football, to whom did he throw it. Technically he threw it to me, but if you'll look, that's a prepositional phrase. So there is no IO in this sentence. If there was an IO, it needs to go right here in the middle, 
but there's none. Number three, my neighbor is a very good athlete. The verb is is, but we look at that verb and we know that it's a linking verb, am, is, are, was, were. So it will not have a do or an io. And number four, the chef told them that the secret to his gumbo. Told is my verb. What did he tell? The secret. To whom did he tell it? Them. So this sentence has a verb, a do, and an io. It also has a prepositional phrase back here, but that's just telling more information about the secret. So that's indirect objects for 7th grade English.